Hello and welcome to Pete's RV TV today. I'm Chad Shepard. We're taking a look at a used 2009 Passport 300BH. The Passport brand is built by Keystone. It's their largest, Keystone is the largest RV manufacturer in the world and Passport's their number one selling ultralight. The reason why is because what you get for, for the dollar you spend here. We're going to notice like on the front of this camper we've got the diamond plate on the front. What that does when we're taking this to our state parks, kicking up those gravel stones on those dirt roads, it keeps on puncturing the fiberglass. The Passport's built with aluminum studding down the sidewall and in the flooring. Um, that studding lightens the load. A lot, of, a lot of ultralights, what they do is they lighten the load by using inferior products. They'll shorten the slides up, they'll shrink the ceiling height. On the Passport instead, what they use is better quality construction. As we peek our head in here, you can even see the aluminum construction. It's all welded in here. Aluminum construction, instead of using wood, on some brands what they do is they'll use wood and then they'll box it in so you can't see it. In this ultralight, instead what they do is they just use better construction on the Passport. Stabilizers on each corner, so when we do get this parked and leveled, we can put down our stabilizers and that keeps the trailer stable. And from rocking when we're on the inside. Something that's unique on this trailer, it does have an outside cook stove. And on the Passports now, even the 2013s on these models, they do not have this cook stove. This is something they've done away with. But as you can see here, it's a really nice feature. Metal roller bearing sliding, metal, metal roller bearing sliders on this that goes puts it in and out very nicely. It just tucks inside the camper here. And you can just lock the door up when you're done. Cable driven slide system. So those cable driven slides save about three to four hundred pounds per slide. They use it on the Passport model. It's been famous for motorhomes over the years, but Keystone uses it on these Passports to save that extra three to four hundred pounds. One more thing I want to point out for you down below the stove here. This does have the new, the new, the newer style spread axles on it. So what happened is in 2009 Keystone went to spread axles on the ultralights and what that does is it helps the trailer tow when we're going down the road. With the spread axle we get a bigger blueprint on the on the on the pavement so it helps with sway control and it also helps with port purposing when we go a big truck passes by us or something of that sort. So as we peek inside here it's a great floor plan. They still make this floor plan today they call it a 3050. Nice slide out with a kitchen in it. We've got cabinets above. Um, I've left one of the shades down so you can see the cloth blinds in the windows. They do put a metal blind right by the stove which is required by federal law. Raised paneling on all the upper cabinets. Microwave. Stove with an oven. Back here is where this trailer really sells. What we've got is kind of like a little condo for kids or extra family. We've got the sofa that makes into a bed. We've got an overhead bunk if we ever need it. And what this does is we can put a TV, it's got a TV mount, and you can set a TV on that shelf right there. We've got a TV for kind of keeping the kids in the play area. Unique thing about this floor, it has storage for kids' clothes on it, and a lot of trailers we don't see that. We're back in this area, let's take a quick peek at the bathroom as well. Tub surround with a skylight, has a courtesy fan as well. Foot flush toilet, which is really nice. We've got our sink and our vanity right there. Our kitchen area, you can see we even got more storage for hanging those kids clothes in there. Pantries as well. Just a lot of cool stuff going on here. Central heat, central air conditioning as well. This has a curtain that closes off this kids room in here. And if you look up above here, we've actually got a air conditioning vent and a heat vent. So if you want to, the kids want to take a nap or you want to shut it off at night. So we make our way up here. The dinette makes into a huge bed as well. Etched glass in those cabinets there as we're walking by. Has a flat screen TV. And that spins around. This does have a CD player built into it as well. And this has speakers in the ceiling and on the outside. Take a peek here at our uh, bedroom setup. Etched glass. Cabinets on both sides of the bed. So, I just wanted to quick give you a pre, you know, a quick preview of this camper. If you're looking for a used ultralight trailer with bunk beds or a bunk area, this is might be the right trailer for you. My name is Chad Shepard. You can reach me at chad at pizzarv.com or you can call me anytime on my cell phone. And I look forward to meeting you one day. And if I get a chance to price this for you, just let me know. I'll be glad to help you. Thanks for thinking, Pizza RV.